It is time for another episode of Showcase Sundays. I am your host, GCPM11. Now today I'm bringing you a Pokemon fan-made game called Pokemon Bithynia, and most of you guys probably haven't heard about it because it's actually a Spanish fan-made game. And you guys are probably wondering, hey, how are you going to get through a Spanish fan-made game? Well, I'm actually going to translate it for you guys because I know Spanish, but it's going to be a little difficult to translate because I'm not used to translating, so I might pause like every once in a while, but yeah. Welcome to Pokemon Bithynia. Thank you very much for downloading our game, Rain. And Rain is the creator of Pokemon Bithynia. He made this uh, whole thing, and apparently it's complete, but, you know, since this is part of Showcase Sundays, I think, you know, it's just going to be this one episode, unless you guys want me to continue it. Uh, but yeah, Bithynia, a great world with huge islands and adventures that are still yet to be discovered. Are you going to be the one to enjoy these adventures? Of course. Do you want to know how Bithynia is? Uh, sure, whatever. Alright, so let's go through the island of Fortaflora, the central, or the central island of Fortaflora, but I guess this is the island, and this is, like, parts of the island, but I don't understand why they're spoiling it for, like, why are they spoiling it for me? Il, what? The Delta Island or something like that? I don't know. This looks pretty neat, though, and then we got overworld sprites of Pokemon as well, that's actually pretty awesome. So yeah, I really like how this game is looking so far. I don't know how it plays, so I'm not really going to comment on any of that. But uh, now it says, did you like it? Alright. Perfect. Now you, uh, blah, blah, blah. See, I messed up already. <laughs> Alright, so now it's time to enjoy the game. Alright, so without further ado, let's start the game. Wow, this is so awesome. Look at the look at the Kingdra and the Seedra. I think I saw, or that was a horsey, but I think I saw a Seedra on the right somewhere. I really like how the game looks too, like the boat and everything, the water. Of course, it's not like current gen standards, but it's still pretty awesome. Like, somebody made this game from scratch. So, I mean, with tools still, but like, it still looks pretty awesome. I don't know. So it seems like we've arrived at a port. It says, um, okay, now we've arrived to the Bithynia region. Control, please, uh, go through the mark or go through security and introduce your information or give them your information please are you a boy or are you a girl that's so awesome they've actually like changed that you know that's a change of pace because like it's not the professor asking you if you're a boy or a girl you're actually going through security and you gotta like tell them i mean i don't know i guess that's just as bad if not worse i don't know um and then they ask you for your name which is actually it actually makes sense because i mean security would ask you for your name right so all right, let's get out of here. Or let's give them my name. I'm just going to give them my regular name. Are this, Is this information correct? Yes. All right, so the receptionist is here. It's that lady, I guess. And these are like black two and white two sprites, like overworld sprites. Um, but welcome to Port Cyrus. Please go through the barrier. And uh, let's see. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to that man over there just in case. What the hell? Oh, man. Uh, so you've arrived. Wait, what? All right, I shouldn't have to introduce myself, right? I am your father, Javier. All right, so... Um... <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so bad at this. Um, you should know that Bithynia is an archipelago something. Um... All right, and it, it, apparently Bithynia is visited by many people. And... Um... The best thing you should do is to go and look around a little bit um, and just calm down or like keep it keep it cool or something and uh, <laughs> let's see you can do whatever you want and uh, something I don't know what the heck he's saying actually actually some things I don't understand because this is like Spain Spanish Either that or it's a different type of Spanish. Like, there are many different types of Spanish. Uh, they're not, like, that different, though. So, uh, I can understand most of the stuff this guy's saying. But, uh, he's in a hurry, apparently, and he needs to do a couple things for their new home. And whenever I can go whenever I want, apparently. I mean, I'm his son. I should be able to go to my house whenever I want, right? So, like, what? You know, it goes without saying, but I guess this guy is just being a jerk. I don't know. Um, our house is by the beach. And, um... You just have to leave this port, and it's huge, and it has a blue roof. Okay, so simple enough. I have to keep an eye out for a huge house with a blue roof. 
Then we got uh, old people doing their business, and we got a young lady with, okay, her ears looked like they were on top of her head in the beat. What the heck was that? What? You couldn't do that until X and Y. How come you can do it here? That doesn't make any sense. You see her? Um, okay. She said, buff. I think that means just like, ugh, you know what I mean? Um, I've just arrived and I am s totally lost. But even, even though I'm lost, I grabbed the map from the reception and, uh, yeah, I recommend that you grab one too. Okay, let me check this place out though. I don't like how the music stops though. <laughs> and there's a, there's a little, like, kitty face or something. Alright, I'm actually gonna talk to these people. I don't know where the, where, where, what? Where am I gonna grab the map from? Um, okay, so the old guy is talking about the boat and how... Apparently, they don't know what their boat is getting here or when it got here, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They're, like, arguing about when the boat gets here or something like that. But, um... Oh, it's probably that little thing right here. Yeah, it's a map of Bithynia. Do you want to grab it? Of course. I need it, like, if I don't... I don't know. He, the the uh, Javier guy, my dad, told me to grab the map, so I decided I should grab the map before leaving. I mean... All right, let's see. Oh, you! Are you Javier's son? Let's see. No, I'm Pedro's son. Are you serious? All right, fine. I was gonna... I should have said Pedro's son, actually. I, I wanted to see what the guy would have said. All right, let me present myself, or let me introduce myself. I am Pedro. Oh my god, I should have said I was Pedro's son. Imagine what would have happened. That would have been sick. I am your father's friend. Um... And I assume that your dad has not introduced me to the... Has not introduced you to Bithynia, pretty much. Uh, and I'm gonna describe it to you or something like that. It's a huge archipelago thing uh, that is that is formed by many islands. So, like, I guess Bith Bithynia consists of many different islands. And um, people have only discovered nine. In reality... In reality, people think that there are way more than nine, and it's been a long time since someone's discovered a new island. And the uh, it has a good climate, it's like a tropical climate, and there's a lot of Pokemon. Uh, there's a lot of vegetation, and you can find many passages. Some of them are very impressive. For example... Uh, some of them, some of the islands have beaches, some of them have deserts. That's so weird. What? How can an island have a desert? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna be at his house, and if I want a tour or whatever, I can go find him. It's so funny, though. It's so cool how there's, like, Pokemon in the overworld and stuff like that. I don't know how many people have actually LP'd this game, if anybody has even LP'd this game, because I don't know of anybody who would have, since, uh, I don't know, most people, I guess, can't read in uh, Spanish or don't understand Spanish. I don't really know many Spanish LPers, um, but yeah, it's really hard to translate for the audience, so I think it would be easier to do an LP, like, completely in Spanish. So you don't have to translate anything, but uh, I don't know. I'm doing my best. I think this is pretty fun. I want to get into a Pokemon battle, and I assume this is my house because it has that huge blue roof. Uh, do you want to enter your home? Sure. All right. All right, so you're here. Come here. Sit down. Nice cup of coffee or chocolate or something like that. All right. How did how does uh, the villa look to you or whatever? Does it look good? Is it, is it mysterious? Pacific? Uh, good, boring, mysterious, blah, blah, blah. Should I do? I don't know. Let's see. Mysterious, boring. I don't know. It's, I, I like it. I like it. Yeah. And then he says, I think so too. I am happy that you like it. Um, how are your Pokemon? Wait, I didn't even check my Pokemon. I know that you haven't left town to train, but calm down. Uh... I'll have a, I have a chore for you, or I have, like, a, something to give you, or something like that. Corefish is happy with me. Okay, so I guess we know we have a Corefish. Um, I hate him. <laughs> Corefish is happy with me. I hate him. Uh, what were you saying about that parcel? I guess I'll say that. 
Uh, do you not even care about your Pokemon? Well, the parcel in um, in reality, I don't I don't need anything. Um, I just need my friend Pedro. What? Yeah, we just saw Pedro, so I guess I can go grab him. Oh my God! There's an earthquake. Ah! Let's get out of the house. Follow me. Oh my God! That's so cool. <laughs> oh my God! Am I freaking out for no reason? This is so awesome. Oh my God! Oh my God! I'm gonna be traumatized for the rest of my life. Wait, the protagonist actually speaks here, so I speak here. Um, but what happened? Um, what did you do? That's what he said. What did you do? What? What do you mean? Um, oh my God! Are you serious? He said like he he left his dirty magazines in the house. <laughs> oh my God! Are you kidding me? Um. What? And if I go to camp, I'm not gonna have them. What is wrong with this guy? Yo, what is wrong with... Okay, this is supposed to be my dad and he's talking about these things. Are you kidding me? Um, and he says, like, the door's not opening. Why does this happen to me? Why? I'm just gonna say dot 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 because that's so, so dumb. And then I'm just gonna call him a pervert. He says, I didn't read the special on Kira Miro. I don't know who that is. It's so weird. Why is this guy talking about this? All right, let's let's uh, let's see. All right, just leave it. Let's go. You're gonna re you're gonna return home one of these days, of course. What if we can't come back? This is a crisis. A crisis. Oh my God! Wait, is that a cop? Stop arguing. And you are? I am foreign. Uh, it appears to me that you don't know me. I am giving you advice for something, I don't know, La Vista? La Vista, what is that? Is that the island? Is that the island we're in? I don't even know. There's no way that's the island we're in. I don't know what that, that, that means. Alright, so he's telling us to follow him. So we're in a completely different, different area now, I think. Alright, quiet, or silence, I guess. I am the mayor of the island Rivetta, and I have organized this Vista, I don't know what Vista means, I don't know what they, like, this meeting, I guess? To, uh, talk about the earthquake. Luckily, there hasn't been any, there haven't been any damages, uh, not even superficial damages. Uh, the worst thing is that Fortiflora, the island where we live, uh, never has uh, experienced an earthquake. Um, I have investigated about the history of the Bithynia region, and uh, I have found something interesting. The ranger's talking right now, I guess. Apparently in the books of Bithynia, they talk about a ancient creature that can move continents. Okay, what the... What? Even so, it doesn't seem like there's any that that legend is real or whatever. Um, and luckily, the humans or humans have not um, have not invented how to um, how to make earthquakes or whatever. And then they're gonna investigate some more, and then they'll talk or something like that. So I guess this is like the start of them um, explaining how there's like a legendary that move con that moves continents or something like that. So, pretty much that means that I'm guessing that this legendary Pokemon did cause this earthquake. Even though they're just, you know, talking about the legend. But, you know, you know how it's going to turn out. The, it's going to end up being the legendary. Um, yeah, they, some guys said that they should evacuate the whole island. Alright, so now they're going to leave because they just... They wanted to do a meeting or something like that. Alright. So, um, all right, yeah, I have to talk to Pedro about the whole, uh, the thing, that I, the, the little, uh, I don't know, he, he wants to, um, he wants me to give Pedro something or go visit Pedro for something, I don't know, something like that. And I'm guessing his house is gonna conveniently be right here. Or not, I'm just gonna go right through the door, okay. I actually want to get into a battle really bad. 
All right, it's better that I do not leave town. Okay, so he's worried that there's going to be wild Pokemon. Wait, why? If I have a... I actually have a team ready, right? Okay, I have a... What? A level 25 Corefish? Why do I have a level 25 Corefish right off the bat? That doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to start off strong. I don't know. So maybe this game is a little bit short. I don't know. What's the point if I can't enter any houses? I thought this game was complete. Maybe I... I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. There doesn't seem like any island that I know. Or, like, any island I've seen, because this doesn't look like a freaking island to me. And I can't talk to these Pokemon or battle them or anything like that. Alright, let's see. Okay, this is Pedro's house right here. Alright. Alright, I was waiting for you. Um, I'm sure your dad told you about the, uh, the thing that I have to, that I have to do or something like that. He said, he said um, alright, well, um... Alright, he said, it might be a little big for you. Do you remember the legend that the ranger told us? Well, okay, it's an, it's an ancient legend. I can't even read this font. I can read it a little bit. Apparently, the uh, giant Pokemon is named Lura. And the uh, story tells that, that, like the ranger said, it can move continents whenever it wants. And in the beginning... It had collaborated with the humans. Okay. Um, and that's how Bithynia was formed, apparently. Okay, the humans helped. and uh, But on a terrible day, the, uh, the Pokemon died. The colossal Pokemon died. And since then, it has never... I mean, it has never made anything. Well, I mean, that should... That should be obvious if the Pokemon died. Of course, it didn't do anything. But the earthquakes have indicated the that the colossal Pokemon could be doing something or like creating something. That's so weird. Apparently, he thinks that it resuscitated, and he wants me to investigate about it or something. That's so weird, though. Why does he just just out of nowhere this guy named Pedro wants me to investigate about a legendary Pokemon that moves continents? Okay. He wants me to finish his dream. He, like his his dream is to see this colossal legendary, but uh, he's never seen it, and he wants me to uh, make his dream come true or something like that. Or he wants me to see the Pokemon. He wants me to make his dream come true for him. He wants me to live his dream. He wants me to investigate throughout the whole island, but do not leave the island because we do not know anything about the colossal. Um, the colossal, like, we don't know what the colossal Pokemon is doing right now. If you see a, if you see something huge and brown, leave. Your father has give, have gi has given me permission to send you, and uh, that's so weird though. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go look for this colossal Pokemon. I would translate the whole thing, but, like, I don't know. It's pretty obvious what the guy wants us to do. So he's going to leave, and now we're going to leave. And he wants me to go to this place called uh, Frente something. I don't know. This is all so confusing, but hopefully... Oh, this is a little thing that we saw in the in the uh, tour or whatever. Hmm. That's actually pretty cool, because the Pokemon Center is just... Uh, like, huge. I didn't expect it to be like this. Alright, so let's go and find this Colossal Legendary. That's so weird that we we're gonna go see the Legendary right away. That actually doesn't sound right at all, but I guess. I'm trying to see if I can run or anything. I don't think I can run. Nope. There's a little lady right here, though. Okay, so you can buy from her. This is like the Pokemon Mart. Uh, I guess I'll buy, like, a Pokeball or something. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, here we go. Certainly. <laughs> they kept that in there. Alright, so let's buy five, I guess. I don't even know how many Pokeball I have. I don't think I have any Pokeballs. Alright, let's get out of here. It's so cool how the Pokemon are right here, but you can't even battle them, so... 
Okay, so this is the island right here. It just looked really weird because I wasn't next to the ocean, which, hold on, is right here, I think. Where is the ocean? It was like right here. There it is, okay. That house looked a lot like mine, but uh, yeah. So this is the ocean right here. Okay, so, man, I hate how the music ends and, and like, doesn't, it doesn't loop correctly. It has to end and restart again. It's not like a never-ending loop. And I would have really liked a never-ending loop. That actually would have been pretty cool, but I don't like how they move either. That's so weird and creepy. I gotta head to the other island, though, but it's gonna take me forever since there's no running shoes or anything, but at least we're gonna get a battle, right? I think this is where the guy wanted me to go. And just a needle ran. I really wish that they would have had like a custom thing for the trainer, you know, like, why is it just Brendan? It's just Brendan and like, look at the overworld. That's not Brendan at all, so it's just a little weird. Alright, so our first Pokemon battle. Hey, you! I bet I'm stronger than you. This is really slow paced. But, um, I don't know. I'm gonna like, make my conclusion about this game. Like, last week we had Pokemon Dusk, and that was, like, really fast-paced, you know, really action-packed, and this game is kind of a little, uh, it's a little slow-paced. I mean, so far, we got an earthquake, and we got a dad who reads dirty magazines, introduced us to his friend named Pedro, and Pedro wants us to go find this legendary Pokemon that may or may not have caused the earthquake. So that's what we have to do right now, just a little overview of everything that's happened, and... This happened within the span of, like, almost 20 minutes, I think, where it could have literally happened within the span of 10 minutes. They could have cut that, they could have cut that down in half. I mean, it's also me, like, I feel like it was also me, because I could have easily, like, tried to translate that faster or something like that. Towards the end, I try to, like, just skim through it and give you guys the basics, which is probably what I'm gonna do uh, from now on. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, of course. And the Pokemon Center is so far away, and I'm not gonna walk all the way back there. That's gonna take me forever to do, so no thank you. My lord! Alright, here we go. I actually should have bought some stuff, because I think I'm gonna die now. Oh my goodness. No, I can't do this. I'm gonna lose my Pokemon. What? What? Jesus! You know what I'm about to do right now? You know what I'm about to do right now? It says Pokeballs, my, my Pokeballs are in TMs. Okay. And I can't even use my Pokeball. Great. Great. Thank you, Pokemon Bithynia. Thank you. Oh, my lord. Alright, let me get out of here. Oh, my l Surprise? Ah! I lost 200 monies for no reason but at least i get a free trip to the pokemon center at least i'm all the way back here wild kangaskhan that i can't even catch oh my lord yeah this couldn't get any worse i'm actually probably gonna rate this game a little low or lower you know pokemon dusk i liked it but it was way too fast now this this one is a little too slow so, I guess you can never get it right. You, I mean, there are some games that are that are actually pretty good that I haven't even played yet, but I've heard are, like, really good. Like, Pokemon Insurgents, for example. That game is really good, and I think that they use the same stuff to make it. The same things that they used in this game, but, uh... I don't know, the guy who made it left some stuff, um, incomplete. Like, he... Oh my god! God, oh god! How, why can't I escape? This Pokemon is level 23, I'm level 25. But uh, Rain did a good job on the overworld and stuff like that, but the thing that he didn't do well on is the, um, I don't know, he just didn't, like, make a custom thing. He grabbed, like, the Ranger or something like that. It, was it the Ranger? It was the Ranger, or it was the Breeder from Black 2 and White 2, that's what it was. Use the overworld of that, and he didn't change Brendan's overworld either, or not overworld, sorry, his... His sprite, so I don't know. It does take a lot of work, but again, I swear to God, if this thing kills me, you gotta be kidding me, man. Come on, 
You can't. All right, so I, I don't understand why I'm even starting like this. Like, I should be able to run away from these Pokemon, you know what I mean? I should be facing Caterpie and Metapod and Rattata, but no, I'm facing Kangaskhan and Nidorino, Nidorina, Nido Queen, Nido this, Nido that, Nido, 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 I don't know. I should not have to be facing these really strong Pokemon yet, I mean, come on. But uh, just so that doesn't happen to me again, I'm going to buy some potions. I'm not going to lose all my money. I have like 864. Come on, I need more than that. Alright, so let me buy two of these. I bet they're not even going to work. Yeah, let me buy two of these as well. This game is kind of glitchy. You know, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done in this game, but uh, again, I don't really want to hate on it or anything like that because I couldn't have done a better job. So I always look at it like that and then, you know... I'm a little more grateful of what I'm doing right now. But uh, hopefully we find it. If we find this legendary, like, that will um, that will just make the whole game for me. You know? I'm not, I wouldn't complain. If the whole legendary scene is awesome, then yeah. Because, I mean, they did show us that they can do a good job with that stuff. Because the earthquake scene was pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, I'm not going to lie. So, I'm actually going to try to kill this thing this time. I'm not going to try to leave. Because that never... No, that never goes never goes well at all for me, so let's just go ahead and kill this thing. There's some stuff that are still in English as well. I think the names are also in English. Um, I don't know if in Spanish they change or not, but I think they do. The moves are definitely in Spanish now. This guy's head is cut off. I swear to God, that's not even just me. That's how it looks like in the game. It's not bad cropping on my end, I promise you. Alright, let me just kill this thing really fast. A level 12 combi, how come the wild Pokemon are way stronger than what the trainers have right now? That's so weird. If there was any way to run, that would be amazing. You know, that's one thing that they could have also done. I don't know if you could grab running shoes or something from someplace and I didn't grab them. But, um... Yeah, that would have been an awesome thing to include right there, Rain, in case you're watching this. I think he just finished the game. This game was, like, this game was finished in, like, 2011. Like, literally the last day of 2011, so I don't think he's gonna do anything with it anymore. But, you know, if he, sh if he was going to, then he should have added some running shoes if he didn't. Or maybe it's my fault. I don't know. Alright, so... Holy crap, it's a... Oh wait, is it flying above me? That's so trippy because I thought it was... Because if you're standing right here, it looks like it's just standing, but it's actually flying above you. And you can hear the grass also from that Burmy. That's so cool. Like, one of the good things about this game is the overworld sprites. Like, I love that there's Pokemon on the trees, and there's Pokemon flying. Like, that's awesome. Like, you get an A-plus for that, Rain. As far as, like, the uh, the whole Brendan thing that I already mentioned a million times, you know what? I'm going to overlook that. Okay. There's literally nothing going on, so I'm just here like, all right, what's going to happen? <laughs> I like how all the uh, trainers have like Spanish names like Jose actually that's the first one I've noticed so I can't really say man these overworld sprites while they're really cool sometimes I feel like I can just catch the Pokemon what what okay wait wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait wait what am I looking at right now you know what I shouldn't even Oh my god, I'm using Bubble Beam so I don't kill it, but I think that was probably, yeah, it was probably not a good thing to do. Okay, the reason why I can't use my Pokeballs is because they're under the TMs, which kind of sucks. Because that's, uh, is it supposed to be like that? Like, it's supposed to screw me over like that? Wait, what the? 
I threw a potion at it. <laughs> what? That's so weird, man. Alright, I caught myself a Pelipper that's red and black. Red and black. Alright, I don't know. I'm not gonna call the Pelipper anything. I just wanna go and find that legendary right now. But uh, let me check my bag. That was so weird. That was so, so weird. Hmm. Alright, so we got Wing Attack, Supersonic. Um, is that Hydro Pump? No. Oh, I don't know what that is. And Water Gun. I mean, it says Hydro Pump, pretty much. But it's not Hydro Pump? It's Water Sport, I guess. That's probably what it is. Okay, so let's just, let's just go on. That's so weird, though. Why is it a different color? I guess they just decided to make that Pokemon a different color for some reason. Yeah, because I, I definitely didn't get lucky. It definitely wasn't a shiny or anything because I just found another one. So, that doesn't really make much sense. Come on, let me escape, Pelipper. Come on, man. Let me go! Oh, my God. Yeah, it is water sport because it says fire type moves have been weakened. Yep. 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 Should I catch another one? No, because every time I use a potion, apparently I catch a Pelipper, which makes no sense, but okay. I don't know what I'm going to do, because I literally cannot... Why is there... Okay, now we got a lighthouse over there. I literally can't do anything else right now. I better be able to go into this lighthouse. Oh my lord, are you kidding me? Okay. I think my game is glitched. I think my game alone is glitched. Actually, you know what? I might want to die. I might want to die to a Pelipper right now. Oh, wait! I have a Pelipper, so I'm not going to get sent all the way back. Okay, so there's the first bit of good news, and I don't think I have any more for you. So, yeah, that's it. Come on, come on! Ugh. All right. So I must have gone the wrong way. I think there was a there was a cave right here that I didn't go into, and I didn't go into it on purpose. And also because I can't freaking go into it. Man, I guess I might have gone the wrong way. I don't know. Wait a minute. Nope, can't go that way either. All right. So maybe if I go up here to the right, I don't know. This is actually really weird. Alright, so I looked everywhere and I could not find a single trace of any legendary Pokemon or any new area for that matter, so I don't think we're gonna find that thing. I honestly don't. Plus, this game was kind of like, I think it was left unfinished or maybe I had the wrong version. I, I think it was just left unfinished, honestly, because I, I don't even know how I found this game, to be honest with you. I don't even know how I like, why am I even here? I don't know, but um, I think we did enough for this showcase Sunday. And um, I guess we'll just, uh, I'll see you guys next week on the next Showcase Sunday. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.